what's up my fina last it's miss fina d coming to you all from fina team and news so last night i posted a story about kiki palmer and the father of a child so we're gonna do a quick recap and then get into what her mother had to say due to most of you being aware of the whole situation between kiki palmer and the father of her child i'm gonna jump straight into current news and then at the end i'm gonna include a backstory for those of you who probably have no clue what's been going on and how it got this bad page six is reporting that kiki palmer is accusing the father of her child darius jackson of physical and emotional abuse and she also filed restraining order against him kiki filed a temporary restraining order in la on thursday in conjunction with requesting sole legal and physical custody of their eight-month-old son in the court documents kiki alleged that there have been many instances of physical violence with Jackson that includes destroying personal property, throwing her belongings into the street, throwing her car keys to prevent her from driving away, hitting her, oh my goodness, in front of their son, bringing profanity about her to their son, threatening to kill himself with a gun if she left him, harassment and other physical and emotional abuse. Oh my goodness, this is so sad. Kiki did say that they broke up about a month ago, but she has security footage of him trespassing on her property without her knowledge or consent. She said that he threatened her, then physically attacked her, lunging for her neck, striking her, throwing her over the couch, and stealing her phone when she told him she was going to call the police. Kiki is very private and have an image to uphold. So when all of this was going on, allegedly, he probably never thought that she was going to ever go public with this information because she's a very private person. This is so sad and I just wish her the best with her son. This is just terrible. She continued that she finally ended things for good in early October due to the physical and emotional abuse inflicted by her ex. After news broke about this, he tweeted, I love you, son. See you soon. Mm, mm, mm. Well, it looks like it won't be soon because Kiki was granted the temporary restraining order and also sole custody until further notice. He was also ordered to turn over all weapons in his possession and was ordered to stay 100 yards away from Kiki and their eight-month-old son. In addition, she was granted sole custody until further notice. The next hearing is scheduled for December 5th. At that time, Kiki can argue to make this temporary order permanent. Speaking of Darius turning over his guns, Kiki also said that he previously threatened to kill himself with that handgun that he owns if she left him. Darius has 24 hours after being served with the order to turn over his weapon to local law enforcement. And they will basically hold on to his gun while the case is ongoing and depending on the outcome. He also provided more details about some of the things that she experienced. She said on November the 7th, he allegedly came to her home unannounced. She said that he demanded she allow their son to go to a football game with him. And when she declined, he became infuriated. She said he started yelling, leaning into her, getting into her face. She said at that point, he lunged at me, grabbing at my neck and face, knocked me backwards over the couch, stole my phone out of my hands, and then ran out of the house. She said the police were called and arrived before Darius left. After interviewing me, my sister, and Darius, they made him leave and warned him to not come back. I also listed another incident from February last year. She claimed that he became upset after she showed him a photo of herself in a bikini. In the bedroom, he slammed me on the floor and slapped my head from side to side. The next morning, he was standing at the bottom of the stairs near the front door, screaming at me as I was coming down the stairs. When I was almost at the bottom of the stairs, he grabbed me around the neck. Body slammed me back onto the stairs. I am very concerned for Leo's safety with Darius given his violent, volatile, and jealous nature. Comments he has made which have caused me grave concern and a lack of restraint Darius has already exhibited regarding his temper in front of our son. Wow.
After all of that, you did see her still make an attempt to make it work to keep her family together. You saw the Instagram live I posted in the last video of the two of them together, laughing, having a great time on her birthday after everything happened. I'm absolutely praying for Kiki Palmer. And we will wait to get more information, but I am praying for her strength. Because I'm sure he will eventually respond, either defending himself or apologizing, but we shall see. But as more information is released, I will be back with an updated video. Now, Daria's brother is allegedly flipping everything on Kiki and saying she's the abuser. And basically insinuating that because she's Kiki Palmer, of course, everyone is going to run to her defense fence and believer and all of that and that's the reason why i said i was just you know report the story as more information comes out but i'm going to go ahead and read what he tweeted and delete it and then we're going to go ahead and end it his brother tweeted the most disgusting vile abusive manipulative person i have ever encountered in my entire life abuses almost everyone y'all will see just send positive energy to the babies any child in the middle of something like this does not deserve it at all wow so sad can't say that word the reason why people are saying he's not talking about his brother and defending kiki he's talking about kiki is because when he tweeted i will see and for everyone involved a child is involved as well and like i said as more information is released i will be back with more updates more information were released but i can't post them on the screen they are triggering there are still images from the videos that kiki submitted and you can see her falling down. You can see his hands allegedly around her neck. I mean, it's pretty bad. So I'm sure some of you can research and see it out there. But I will not be putting it in the video. I'm praying for Kiki. Well, after he tweeted and deleted that, this is what Kiki mother had to say. Look, I've never done anything like this. I've been in this business for 22 years. I've seen a lot of stuff. But this is... This is I, I can't help myself. For Sharonis Jackson to post on his Twitter uh, uh, the ridiculous stuff that he's posted when he knew his brother was abusive. I went to Sharonis over a year ago and told him that his brother was abusive to my daughter. And he said, uh, well, I used to be like that too. What? So now he's posting on Twitter like he's this... Uh, Special guy, we know he's the biggest fuck boy in Hollywood. He's disrespectful to women, just like his little brother. He taught his brother how to be abusive. So he don't get to act like he's this special guy. No, you're a fuck boy and you're a part of the problem. said I'm praying for Kiki and her family. That's including her mother because there's nothing worse than being a mother knowing that your child is being abused, allegedly and you are doing everything in your power to get them away. But they are also an adult and they're choosing to stay and work it out because now they have a child and they're thinking about their family. I'm just glad that through it all, Kiki was able to finally get out of that situation, that relationship. The father of Kiki child brother, so Darius brother, did respond to what Kiki mother had to say. So let's get into that. Quote me, I never once said that to Sharon, not once in my life. I have never been abusive to any of the women I've ever been involved with. I'm not going to keep on with this circus, but Sharon, the word is about to hear your voice very soon and the threats you made to my family. Be well, everyone. I know it's easy to get caught up in this, but make no mistake that all of this is very sad. Sad indeed, but for now, Kiki got what she wanted, so I'm wishing her peace and safety and protection, and she's covered. Amen, amen, amen. I'm wishing all of you well, and take care. I love, thank you all for your love and support. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up. Also, turn on notifications so when I do post, you're aware that I post it. And I will see you all in the comment section. Remember to always have the God bless attitude, which is being positive at all times. And seeing the good in every situation. Have a great day, guys. God bless.